Her attack animation, it looks really pretty, but it also feels a little sl on the slow side, so I feel like she's not going to be good at countering, or parrying rather. That's just the feeling I get. Her skill is me a little bit faster, but it feels like there's a little bit of a delay when she's like bending her uh, paintbrush kind of like to her side before she strikes. Let's see her ultimate. Oh, she blushes when she does the ultimate. I have no idea what this does. I think she is pretty decent with Jinsa, especially with the outro skill, particularly. And then when she's off field, she still provides damage. So I think that's a pretty good sub DPS off fielder. But she will be eating a little bit more field time to do her full rotation. Unless you don't really end up needing to do that. But I feel like you do just to build up energy uh, to get her burst up. But... The other thing is, is that I think she's also going to be really busted for a future Glacio main DPS character, which could potentially end up being the character coming out in 1.3 because we are getting a Glacio character in the next patch. And even despite her size, she's got the ink physics cranked up to the max. Holy smokes, what am I, what am I looking at? This doesn't seem right on her, I don't know. That might just be me. But yeah, those are my early thoughts on Jeju. I'm not actually gonna be pulling for her because I don't have Jinsa. I may be pulling for the new character if she ends up being on the same banner as the character I actually want to be pulling for, which is Shorekeeper. If they end up being on the same banner, then I might end up getting that Glacial DPS, but I'm not going to be pulling for her. I don't have Jinsa, but I think she has the potential to be an incredible buffer to a future Glacial DPS, so you might want to keep an eye on that. For her rerun, if a Glacial DPS is to your fancy, you might want her. That's my early impressions for her. I don't think she's a must-pull, but I think she can be a really good buffer.